Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday, and today I'm going to be showing you how to animate B-roll in CapCut for desktop or PC, just like what you're seeing on the screen right now. It's really simple to do, and we can do this with both photos and videos. So let's go ahead and dive right into this tutorial. All right, so here we are on my desktop, and I've got the free version of CapCut loaded up here. Now off to the left, I've got some footage that we're going to be using for this project. The first one is the background that we're going to be using. It's just footage from Cabo from last summer. And then I've got fish here that are swimming around in the same area. We'll use that as B-roll. And I've also got a photo here that we'll be using looking back at the ship that we came in on. So we're going to be showing you how to do that with a photo and a video. So the first thing we need to do is import our footage into CapCut. So you could go ahead and click on import here, make sure the import tab is selected and you can search your computer for that footage and then hit open here or we can just go ahead and highlight it all and drag it over so with the left mouse button hold that down drag it over and then just drop it in this area just like that so let me go ahead and expand this here so we can see it a little bit better and the first thing we need to do is bring down our background into the main timeline down below so let's go ahead and bring that down so go ahead and left click on it so it's selected and you can either hit the plus sign here or drag it down with your left mouse button. We'll go ahead and hit the plus sign and that's going to add it to our number one layer here or our base layer. And I can go ahead and hit the play button here or use my space bar and it's going to play through that video just like that. And I'll pause it where I want to put in the B-roll. Now the B-roll goes on a different track above. So we've got our main background track. And then we've got our B-roll track that which will be above and that covers anything in the main background. So let's go ahead and bring down maybe this photo here. So I'll go ahead and select that. Now if I hit the plus sign, it's going to add it into the main track. So this one we're going to want to drag down like that. So we'll hold down the mouse button, drag it down and drop it in there. So now when we hit play, it's going to switch over to the B-roll and then I'll stop it. I can hit my space bar or the pause button and then I can adjust the edges so I can hold down the left mouse button and drag it in and out where I'd like that to stop. So I'm just going to put it right there. And now when I hit play, it goes in and out and we'll add an animation to that in a second. And then from here, I'll put in the fish as well. So I'll drag that down just like that. And we'll drop it in there. So it covers up the background. And then it comes back out. So let's start out with animating our photo here. So we'll go ahead and left click on that and select it. And up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see a whole bunch of different options. And the option we're looking for is animation. You can go ahead and left click on that. This is going to give us some animations here. So it does in animation. So this is how the um, photo or video would come in. We've got out. So this is how it would leave. And then we've got combo, which does both in and out. So we'll get to the combo in a moment. Maybe we'll use the combo on the fish and use in and out here on the photo. So let's go ahead and select in. Now I do want to mention that if you select none here, it's going to remove the animation. So if you want to remove it, just go ahead and select none. And some of these are pro version animations. So you can see it says pro there. You do need to join the pro program in order to use those, but there's quite a few free ones here as well. Now, once you find one you like, let's go ahead and look at this one here. If you haven't used them before, there's a little download icon. You just need to left click on that and then it will download it and it'll show you an example of what that looks like there in your video. And there's quite a few here. So there's slides, there's Kira Magic. That one's kind of cool, kind of a Disney vibe to it. Some zooms if you're looking for something basic. Slide down. And you can scroll through here and go through a ton of them. Swing left, shake, all that kind of stuff. Rolls. Maybe I'll go ahead and select that Kira Magic. I kind of like that one for the in and then for the out. So we'll select out here the same thing. We can do a standard fade out if we like, which is super simple. We can do slides. We can do a slide up, a whirl, all sorts of them. So just click on them and it'll show you what it looks like. Maybe for this one, I'll just do a fade out, a simple fade out. Now, right here, you're also going to see that there's a duration. So when I play this here, you can see that that animation is quite long and then it just fades out right away. I do want to shorten that. So if I go over here to the right, you can see that there's the durations here. I can adjust the duration here so it's not so long. 
So now when I play it, you can see the animation is much shorter and then it fades out. So that's how you would add the animations to the photo. Let's move on to the fish here. So we'll go ahead and select the fish video here. And again, we'll make sure animation is selected at the top. And for this one, again, we could use in and out, or we can use combo. So again, you can use these for both photos and videos. So we'll do combo on this one. And again, if you wanna turn it off, you'd select none. Now there's a whole bunch in here. And again, you would download them by clicking the download button if you do wanna use them. So we'll try this one out. And you can see it kind of twists when it comes in. And there's not much of an animation going out on there. But let's go ahead and scroll through here because some, there's some really neat ones. We'll try train. And you can do left zooms. So lots of cool ones and including ones that are kind of popped out. So this one here would pop it in just like that. So there's some really cool animations available in here, blinds, etc. cetera. So um, a lot of great options for adding combos. And now when we play our video, it's got all those animations in it on our photo and our video. And from there, you can just go ahead and export your project when you have it, just how you like it. And really it's that simple to animate B-roll here in CapCut for desktop on your PC. So I hope this video helped you out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.